Oh my god. How do we deal with this one? For fuck's sake. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now it's been a long time since I've had a rant video or industry news video. Uh, but I think this one definitely merits it. Now if you're unaware, Foundry came out yesterday and basically says, Yep, models can finish, it's done, uh, no more development. And that's, that's a sore one man. That is a really, that, that's hurtful. Uh, I don't care if you use Houdini or Blender or whatever application, to see a software company basically go end of life, never a good thing, never a, ever a good thing. And right now, the the model community is hurting, uh, and rightly so. It's, I don't think a lot of people put this into the equation, but a lot of people's livelihood actually depend on software. And this is one thing that I teach younger people is, don't get attached to software, uh, it'll come and go. But a lot of model users use it for freelancing, they use it in their work. Uh, it's a really good modeling tool. Uh, it's, it's actually a really good tool. Now there is a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Well, I don't know if I would call it light, but uh, they've essentially made the model license free for the next 10 years. Which hopefully more people start downloading and start using and maybe build tools and stuff like this. I'm not going to read comments or anything like that, I'm just kind of giving a general observation. Uh, but it's not nice, definitely not nice, and I do feel sorry for the model users. And it kind of impacts us in an indirect way as well. <clears throat> so what do you do if you're a model user, where do you go? Do you stick out with software that you know eventually will die? A lot of people still use XSI. Well, not a lot of people, but people still use XSI, great application at the time. Or, as a model user, do you look at Blender as a serious competitor? Now, I would probably recommend that, or I would probably recommend you go down the... Down, that's went a little bit too Scottish there, or you go down the Houdini route. Uh, Cinema 4D is always something to look at. The pricing's a bit expensive, especially if you're coming from Modo, so Blender probably is a very good attraction. Now, I've been monitoring the Discord, and a lot of people are saying, ah, I can't get used to Blender. You just need to suck it up, Buttercup. Uh, I think that's the best advice I can give. Yeah, the UI is a little bit clunky and navigation can feel strange and there is certain things with Blender that will trip you up, especially if you're just learning. But the best the best approach to learning new software is just throw yourself into the deep end. Uh, if you've got a client, try and do client work in it. Obviously give yourself a little bit of time to prepare. That's the way that I learned. I've done a big commercial gig and it was photo render and stuff and you just you just need to throw yourself in. I don't really have any words of wisdom or anything that I can share. Slightly gutted. There's guys like Pixel Fondue that have been working their ass off for the last couple of years trying to build a community, supporting the software, making tutorials, making scripts, all this stuff and the rug just gets pulled from under your feet. I feel sorry for you guys in that respect. But at the end of the day, you need to move on. And I've seen a lot of people being nasty in the Discord and stuff like this, calling out the failures of Foundry and basically saying wanted to kill the application. I don't think this decision was taken lightly at all. Uh, if you've ever worked with one of these 3D companies, you know politics gets into the way. And at the end of the day, money does play a massive role, a massive role. And if you can't keep the lights on, you kill software, uh, but uh, a bit of a pisser on it, it is, it's a bit shit. I think it's a reflection on the industry as well. Uh, things are changing, things are definitely moving in a different direction from what they were 10, 20 years ago. A lot of people are talking about crowdfunding. I think obviously Blender is a great example of that, of how it worked. I think the situation is completely different. I think making it open source isn't even an option. To be honest, uh, there'll be IP, there'll be legacy code, there'll be stuff that they just can't make open source for certain reasons. So maybe they need a buyer, an outright buyer. That's even a foundry want to sell. I mean, I mean, you're speculating here. Foundry might not even want to sell the application. I'd imagine though, if somebody comes in with the right kind of money, maybe. Uh, so hopefully, I'm hoping that they can do something with it and they can keep the community going because it is a really good community 
and it is a really good piece of software. It's a little bit long in the tooth, if I'm honest. Uh, it's getting a bit old these days, but it's still pretty powerful. Uh, same could be said for Lightwave, I suppose. If it was me and I had all the money in the world, I would buy it and I would make it free to download. Or $50, I would go the Messiah route. Now, if you've never heard of the Messiah, uh, they done like a $30 deal or a $10 deal. You could download it and you could put it on a USB stick as your dongle. Uh, that was, fuck, that was about 10 years ago now. Uh, nobody really uses Messiah now. <laughs> ah, it's a shit situation to be in and I, I feel sorry for you guys, especially model users. But, got to move forward there. Anyway, uh, that's my 